We want to apply what we've learned about the leading coefficient test, finding a function zeros, and multiplicity to come up with a quick sketch of f of x equals 1 fifth x to the fourth minus x cubed plus 6 fifths x squared. So let's find the zeros by setting our equation equal to zero. The first thing that we always look for, is there anything uh, factor that each term has in common? And I think that what they all have in common on this particular function is 1 fifth x squared. So we're going to factor out 1 fifth x squared, which basically means each term gets divided by 1 fifth x squared. And so that's going to leave us with x squared minus 5x plus 6. And then we can further factor x squared minus 5x plus 6 into x minus 2 times x minus 3 equals 0. So if we set each factor equal to 0, we're going to get x equals 0. And notice that this is going to have multiplicity of 2. This is a double root. And what we know about double roots is uh, when your function approaches the double root, it's not going to go through the 0. It's going to rebound off. Then we also have a 0 at x equals 2 that has multiplicity 1, which means it's going to go straight through. And x minus 3 equals 0 is going to give us uh, a 0 at 3. So if we go to sketch our graph, we know that we have a double root at 0. We have a, a single root at 2 and a single root at 3. Uh, notice that the degree of this polynomial is 4. So if the degree is equal to 4 and our leading coefficient is positive, the end behavior of our graph is going to be up, up. So going back and sketching our graph, uh, our ends have to end up, up. We have a double root at 0, so we have to rebound off that root. And then we're going to go through our 2 and our 3, which are single roots, to come up with a rough sketch of this graph.